everybody, Double B here with another installment of WGS TV. Well, it's time for the Monday Night Raw review, and I'm not here alone. I've got Andy, Ashley, and Mick here. Uh, now, Ashley's going to take over for the first hour because I had to step away and had to go to the store and get some supplies. So, um, Ashley, you want to go ahead and, and pick up on how Monday Night Raw started? Yeah, we started off with uh, CM Punk coming down the ramp and basically going into the ring and saying, you know, I said last night that I was um, going to make an on be the most honest person in the WWE universe. But then he said, well, I beat John Cena last week, who's the WWE champion, and I beat Rey Mysterio last night, so that means I should be the number one contender. So I want the anonymous GM to do send an email saying that now because he wants it in his hometown because Money in the Bank's coming from Chicago, Illinois. He says he won't leave the ring until he gets the shot. The GM sounds and says, I'll take it under consideration, but get out the ring. Then, um, GM says, sounds again and says, no, really, get out the ring. He doesn't, and he says, oh, I'm not going, so in the meantime, I'm going to be making snow angels, which is brilliant. Um, and the GM said, well, you were going to be number one contender, but now I feel you'll earn it. Um, so it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one match between you and Alberto Del Rio. And then he still doesn't leave. And then he says, okay, I'm changing that to a triple threat match between you, Del Rio, and Mysteria. And let's just say Punk wasn't happy with him. Anyway, um, we then had our first public vote, and it was for who you wanted to see, um... Brie Bella take on for the Divas Championship. The choices were Eve, Kelly Kelly, and Beth Phoenix. I wouldn't have minded seeing Beth over Phoenix. 50, over 50% voted for Kelly Kelly. And thanks to um, a reversed roll-up, thank, no, thanks to a reversed schoolboy pin by Kelly Kelly, Kelly Kelly is now your new Divas Champion. Which I think is fair for everything that she's um, gone through. Over the past four years, I, I, I seem her as a better wrestler than the Bellas ever have been. I agree. To be honest. I agree. Um, next up was, they had a big push for Evan Bourne with like a video package, and they said, right, you can choose his opponent. Now, it's either Jack Swagger, Mason Ryan, or Sin Cara. I would have well, loved... More well, actually, boards and everything. actually, on a personal it. level, I would have loved to have seen... Evan Bourne and Sin Cara. Can you only imagine the kind of match Everybody those two would put on? For that. That's the thing. Everybody voted for that. Everybody on the WWE forum. Everybody on forums on major wrestling sites. Everybody on the site that I w looked at it at. And the vote came through. Mason Ryan. Which is bullshit. Yes. Yes, bullshit. Um, thanks to his size, Mason Ryan won that. Which I kind of... You know, it's good to see Mason Ryan on TV getting a win, but when you have the option of Sin Cara being there, it is bullshit. I'm pleased for Ryan, and also displeased at WWE for fixing it, because I blatantly say it's fixed. Um, then we had another vote moment. Kane is going to take on Mark Henry, and the public gets to choose whether it's going to be a body slam challenge, an arm wrestling match, or an over-the-top rope match. If it would have been um, me, if it would have been, it would have, if it would have been me, I would probably would have gone with maybe the, the body slam challenge. That would have, been, yeah. that would have been the one I would have voted the top for. Rope would have been entertaining, but again, that one too. You know, arm wrestling match was put on. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> You'll see in the video, Ash. You'll see on the video basically, what I did, Ash. Basically, he said, um, you know, because. As you heard in my video, somebody's going to get their ass kicked. Mm -hmm. So I have to see we're still PG. We can still say ass. Ass, 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 ass. Well, last week on Raw, uh, you had Austin saying some bitch. Yeah. Yeah, but it's Austin. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't put Mark Henry in the same caliber as Austin. Yeah, you got a point. around roughly at the same time. But, um, basically, this arm wrestling match was a close match, and then Henry Punch came with his free arm as Kane was about to win. And then Henry uh, destroys Kane, and like he did with Big Show last night, World Strongest slammed Kane through the announcer's table, which was a pretty cool moment. Um, then, 
our truth came to talk about that he was, um, you know, there was this conspiracy going on. I walked in on this one. And, and then Christian comes out and says, no, the conspiracy is with me as well, because, look, my foot was under the rope at the pay-per-view. I shouldn't have been pinned. Then Miz comes out with his whole, really? 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 And, um... He calls Christian and Truth whiners and crybabies. And then they all keep going really at each other. And then Christian goes, Riley. Randy. And then, yeah, Riley. Randy. Randy. Riley, Randy. Riley. Randy. Jimmy! Jimmy! Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. And Teddy Long comes out. Teddy! Um, and says, okay, basically... Screw you! Screw all of you! You're going to be in a six-man tag with Riley Orton and Cena against you, and the fans will choose the stipulation. And then we have match four between Ziggler and Kofi Kingston for the U.S. title. The public gets oh. to choose from two out three falls. Vicky being banned from ringside and submission match. Now a lot of people would have gone for Vicky banned from ringside, but what I, I wouldn't. Uh, the two out of three I'd have falls. The most entertaining one, which would have been two out of three falls, and thankfully, that's what it turned out to be. Yes, it was, and just like on last night at Capital Punishment, they put on a great match with the two out of three falls. Um, a lot of people are not going to agree with the finish, you know, with Dolph Ziggler, you know, getting disqualified. But maybe that's WWE's way of saying that they're trying to push him as the United States Champion. Now, will they have a well, rematch? I'm about what I'm confused about is, in previous matches where it's been two out of three falls, DQs have counted as falls. This is WWE. They write the rules up as they go. Yeah, but if that's the case, Kofi should be champion. You got a point there. You definitely that's do. That's another conspiracy theory. Come on. Um, the next match we had was um, CM Punk, Rey Mysterio, and Bertel Del Rio. And the stipulation the that was... Go ahead. Uh, no DQ match, false count anywhere, or a submission match. Actually, which one would you have voted for for that one? To be honest, I, I didn't want no DQ because then I'd have seen Nexus interfering. Yeah. So I would have gone for either false count anywhere or submission because if it was submission, Rey Mysterio would be stuck. Yeah. Because CM Punk's got his Anaconda vice and Alberto's got his, um, uh, you know... Cross arm breaker. Or leg breaker if you watched the um, pay per view last night. But the stipulation that was picked, it was false count anywhere. Um, really great match between the three. This match did not disappoint. Um, CM Punk got the win, and now then we had the major announcement from this was, this CM was, Punk. This was genius. This was genius. CM Punk publicly announced that his contract with World Wrestling Entertainment is coming to an end on that, July, night. that night, on Money at the Bank, when he, when he uh, faces Cena for the title. So he's declaring that he's going to win the match, and then he's going to leave the company with the WWE Championship. Now, hang on. What happened in 1997? Ooh. In his hometown. Yeah, but I don't think Bret Hart publicly announced... Yeah, but was going to take the title with him from the company. Was it on 14 years, CM Punk, in his hometown, threatening to lead the company with the world title? Hmm. Are we going to see a recreation? Is it going to be the Chicago screw job? Vince screwed... Cena screwed or Vince screwed CM Punk? Yeah. Well, um, anyway, the next match we had was Daniel Bryan and Cody Rhodes. Now, last month on Friday Night SmackDown, they had one of the best matches we've seen in quite some time on Friday Night SmackDown for having Daniel, Daniel Bryan. We know Daniel Bryan is really talented. And Cody Rhodes, and they brought out the best each other in that match on Friday Night SmackDown one month ago. But they have another match. Now, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm going to let Ashley read the stipulations that we had to choose from in this match because they were quite ridiculous. We have a paper bag match, which is technically a paper bag on a pole match, um, a no count out match, and a collegiate rules match. Um, you kind of knew that paper bag on a pole match wasn't going to happen because there was no pole at ringside. 
Yeah, but the thing is, the way, the way I was thinking that the Vans would have voted it for it because it, it it ties into Cody Rhodes' gimmick. You know, with the paper bag and everything like that, it would have tied into his yeah, gimmick. Yeah, don't want him to win. Yeah, but it's still... It's WWE trying... In, we, we know for a fact that WWE heavily influenced all the choices, and if they didn't go the way that uh, the fans voted, uh, you know, like... It, we all wanted Sin Cara to be in there, but apparently they had designs on Mason Ryan being out there. And since the fans did not vote for Mason Ryan, they still sent him out there anyway. Saying you know, like, hey, you know what? You know what happened there, don't you? What? WWE had faith. And, but anyway, um, WWE tried to heavily. Inf- I believe they tried to heavily influence the paper bag on a pole match, and it just didn't pan out. It came in a very close second to the no count out match, but their match. Was still pretty good though. It, it's not it's it was, too short though. Yeah, it, it wasn't at the same level as the match they had uh, last month on Friday Night SmackDown, because albeit that was Daniel, a great match. But yeah, Daniel Bryan got the win, but the you know the beating that happened afterwards was just pointless. No, I think every, actually, would it be safe to say everybody was expecting Sin Cara to come down? Because I know I you were. I was going to back him up, but I guess he was so pissed that the, he um, missed out on because of Mason Ryan, but he went, ah, fuck this shit. Right. Obviously, he doesn't know how to speak American yet. He still hasn't got to, you know, he still hasn't got to grips with learning it, so he probably didn't say that. Then um, next, we had a dance contest. And the whole... Of the night, not, uh, the only thing I can say about that is why in the frickin' world did we have to see so much jello jiggling from Vicky Guerrero and Michael Cole? I'll never know. How the, now, see, that's another thing, too. I think a lot of people were voting for Booker T to be in the dance contest. WWE... I don't know. I, I don't know. I, th- I think, you know, hearing Vicky do her sable montage, I think they wanted Michael Cole to get a beating. Yeah, and not only that, you had, you know, coming back from commercial, Michael Cole was doing this, he was do, doing jumping jacks, and, you know, going all around like a freaking idiot. You know, but I really want to see the video now, of what <laughs> you're doing there. <laughs> it's a very poor Im- Im- impersonation, I promise you that, actually, when you watch this. Thank God you're not doing Vicky's bumping and grinding. Oh, God, I think, I would break... And, and, and thank God you're not kissing Matt Stryker. Oh, my webcam would be broken on the floor in pieces if I did that. <laughs> anyway, for some inane reason, Michael Cole was booed the loudest and got the win. Don't know why. Then next we had the uh, the main event, which was the six-man tag, Cena, Orton, and Riley against Miz, Christian, and R-Truth. Actually, what were the stipulations? Because, again, just like with the Daniel Bryan-Cody Rhodes match, the stipulations were even more ridiculous for this one. Yeah, you had one fall to a finish. Which is a, a basic match. A 20-minute time limit. Or an elimination match. Okay, first off, one fall to a finish. How the hell is that a stipulation? If you pick one fall to a finish, you should be slapped in the face and called Shirley because one fall to a finish is a basic wrestling match. That's not really a stipulation. Amazingly, though, that was second in the vote. Over the 20-minute time limit, which is, again, stupid. A stupid stipulation yeah, to have. Yeah, but the 20-minute time limit is kind of interesting, because you know how long that match went on for? More than 20. No, just about shy than 20 minutes. So what was what was the leftover? It was an elimination match. And that's what it turned out to be. I have the order of the eliminations right here in my all-purpose notebook of knowledge. Yeah, that's what I'm calling it now, my all-purpose notebook of knowledge. Christian, shut up. Christian, <laughs> Christian eliminated Alex Riley. Then John Cena eliminated The Miz. Randy Orton eliminated our our truth. I think this all happened in a matter of a minute. Then the last three yeah, eliminations. After our truth being eliminated. Christian Chris eliminated Orton. and eliminated him. And then John Cena, courtesy of Randy Orton, RKO and Christian. Eliminated Christian with the STF. So therefore, Cena, Orton, and Riley win the match. Although technically, the only one that was still in the ring, active, was unsurprisingly, John Cena. 
And then after the after Monday Night Raw was over, or after the match was over, it was seen on Orton celebrating. Alex, Alex Riley did not come back uh, out to celebrate. So, uh, match of the night, hard to pick one. Hard to pick one, but you know what? I'm gonna go with Kofi Kingston and Dolph Ziggler, the two out of three falls match. Cause you know they were really good at uh, Capital Punishment. They've they've had a great matches. With the, on Friday Night SmackDown over the Intercontinental title, and they did not disappoint tonight. What do you think, Ash? Um, I'd have to agree with you there. That was by far match of the night, although I'd also put as a commendable second, or possibly not joint first, the triple threat match between oh, yes. Punk, Mysterio, and Del Rio. That was a brilliant match as well. Yeah, also but factor... Also, I'd have to give honourable mention to the Divas match. Really? That was a pretty good one. Compared to the rest, compared to the other two matches that were in that first hour you missed, the Divas match was like, you know, Ben-Hur. It was an epic. There was an epic Divas match, and I missed it. I, I feel like I... I, 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 I personally thought it wasn't too bad. I've seen worse Divas matches, I've seen better, but considering some of the crap that we've seen on previous Raws and Smackdowns, pretty good. Alright, now, um, Andy, um, I know you're probably just standing there silently, you know, finger, uh, giving me the finger over Skype. you have anything you want to say? Andy. No, I'm here, sorry about that. No, um... Trying to get to the bottom of uh, why I can't get on your blog TV channel, but apart from that, hello, listeners. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mick, anything you want to say about Monday Night Raw tonight? And Mick is not paying attention, so he misses out. Mick's, Mick's, Mick's playing um, Skate on his Xbox, that's why. Yeah, he was supposed to do his that word... That kind of shows you how good overall tonight's Raw was. He was supposed to do his word of the day at the start, start of this video, and he's not there, so... Well, guys, as always, we'd like to I'll, hear... No, I'll give you his word of the day. Unspecified. Unspecified? Yeah. All right. Because he isn't giving you a word of the day. It's, un it's an unspecified word of the day. All he's right. telling you it. <laughs> so with that being said, guys... I as Jack the word of the day. I'm loving it. <laughs> as always, we'd like to hear what you guys thought about Monday Night Raw. Leave your comments in the comments section below. Until then, for Andy, Ashley, and Mick37, who's probably playing with his penis, or he's trying to find it right now. Quick uh, mention. Go, go next ahead. Week, next week, we've got Raw Roulette coming from Las Vegas, and we've also got Sean Michaels making an appearance there as well. Exactly, so be sure you tune in for that. So until then, I'm Double B. Thanks for watching.